Attack on Titan, 10 Kindest Characters of the Series Attack on Titan is full of cruel cutthroat characters, but there are also some characters with genuinely kind hearts. Attack on Titan is a bleak series in which characters suffer and many die. While it does have its moments of comedic reprieve from the darkness and violence, the premise itself keeps the show somber. However, even in its darkest moments, there are many characters among its huge cast who have demonstrated the best of humanity. Despite the dire circumstances, there are those who are willing to place their trust in others and believe that there is some good in the world worth saving. For all of its selfish characters who are simply determined to destroy their enemies. There are just as many kind-hearted spirits ready to lend a hand to any in need. Warning, heavy spoilers for the Attack on Titan anime follow. 10. Connie Believes in His Friends Connie Springer is among the first characters viewers meet after Aaron enlists in the military. Once he meets Aaron and finds out about his experiences, he befriends him and asks him what titans are like in real life. He is also inspired by Aaron's dedication to training and he starts putting in more effort as well. He is shown to be very caring of those he considers his friends. Even refusing to believe that Reiner and Bertholdt had been their enemies all along. Later, he very clearly feels betrayed by this revelation and hesitates to finish off Reiner when they bring down his armored titan. Connie also thinks very highly of his friends, as he praises Armin when his plan is successfully carried out and believes in Aaron enough to follow him in joining the scout regiment. 9. Berwin embodies true leadership. Berwin Smith is the leader of the scout regiment, and, as a result, he must demonstrate the qualities of a good leader. He is extremely confident and committed to defeating the Titans to protect humanity's future. He is even willing to sacrifice his own life, as long as it means victory for humans. His kindness is best demonstrated in his first meeting with Levi, in which the two find themselves locked in battle. Once Erwin and his squad gain the upper hand and subdue Levi and his comrades, he shows mercy on the young Ackerman. He offers Levi the chance to join the scout regiment, and in exchange, he will not be handed over to the military police for his crimes. 8. Petra asks Aaron to trust her. Petra Rall is a close friend of Levi Ackerman and fights alongside him during the first season. Her kindness is best shown when she is tending to a wounded soldier, trying to stop his bleeding. However, as he dies, she and Levi do their best to comfort him. Afterward, she tries to reassure Levi that the man heard them and went peacefully. Later, when the scouts are being pursued by the female titan through the forest, Petra is one of the soldiers escorting Aaron. When Levi orders her and the others to continue fleeing the titan. Despite their reinforcements being killed just behind them, Aaron considers transforming and fighting the female titan himself. However, Petra begs him to have faith in her and Levi's squad and trust that they are doing the right thing. 7. Hannes Saves Aaron Mikasa Hannes is a captain of the garrison, responsible for defending the walls against titan attacks. He is also a family friend of the Jaegers and frequently engages with Eren and Mikasa during their childhood. On the day that Shiganshina is attacked, Hannes comes to the aid of Eren and Mikasa, with the intent to kill the smiling titan and help rescue Eren's mother. However, upon seeing the monster before him, he is filled with fear and instead takes the children and retreats, leaving Carla to die. Over the course of the series, Hannes shows immense remorse for that decision and tries to apologize when they are reunited years later. When the mission to rescue Aaron begins, Hannes joins Erwin and a military police commander in going after Reiner and Bertholdt. After they manage to free Aaron, he flees on horseback with Mikasa. But they are knocked down and attacked by the smiling titan. Hannes, seeing this as an opportunity for redemption, attacks the creature to protect the two children he failed years prior. 
6. Hang treats Titans as more than monsters. Another close friend of Levi, Hang Zoe, is dedicated to studying Titans and allowing humanity to understand them better. Throughout the series, Hang is shown to have two sides, one that can be incredibly kind-hearted and one that is absolutely ruthless. Hang shares their kinder side with friends like Levi or Aaron and saves their more unforgiving side for when lives are at stake. Upon capturing two small titans for experimentation, Hang immediately names them Sawney and Bean. They think of the creatures as their own children, showing them more kindness than any other character does. Hang is shown playing with them and feeding them, treating them as though they are not flesh-eating monsters. When the two titans are executed, Hang is heartbroken, both at the loss of life and the research opportunity. 5. Marco helps those in need. Marco Bot is also among the characters Aaron first meets when he enlists with the military. He is there when Aaron is telling the others about the Battle of Shiganshina and notices that the questions being asked are making Aaron uncomfortable. That's when he takes the opportunity to tell the others off to help someone in need. Later, during the Battle of Trost, Marco overhears Reiner and Bertholdt discussing their roles as the Armored and Colossal Titans respectively. While he initially believes it to be a joke, the pair, along with Annie ambush him and capture him. Annie reluctantly removes Marco's gear and the three leave him to die by the Titans surrounding him. As they flee, Marco begs them to simply talk things through with him. Even in the end, Marco wants to believe his friends have good in them. 4. Falco protects the people he loves. Introduced in the final season, Falco Grice is a warrior candidate, trying his best to become the inheritor of the armored titan. Although he is a Marlian raised Eldian who's taught to believe the Eldians are inherently evil creatures. Falco is incredibly kind hearted. His motivation for even entering the warrior program is to save Gabby from having to shorten her lifespan by inheriting a warrior titan. After they are captured by Aaron and his people, Falco and Gabby believe they have found an ally in Nicolo, the Marlian chef serving food to Eldians. However, when Nicolo finds out that Gabby is the one who killed Sasha, the woman he's fallen in love with, he attacks her. Falco does not hesitate to jump in between the two and take the blow originally meant for Gabby, demonstrating just how far he'll go to save her. 3. Sasha defends her village. Sasha Browse is portrayed as a friendly character right off the bat when she is caught eating a potato during the first day of training. She offers Keith Sadie's. The Cadet Corps' commandant, half of her potato, though he is not amused. As a result, she is sentenced to running laps all day. Later, her true selflessness comes out when she returns to her home village. In fear that Titans are heading toward it. When she gets there, she finds a three-meter titan that has attacked the village and is eating a young girl's mother right in front of her. She attacks the titan and helps the girl escape. As the girl runs away, Sasha fights the titan with only a bow and four arrows, demonstrating her willingness to put the lives of others before her own. 2. Historia cares for others. Historia Rice initially joins the military under the alias Krista Lenz, to hide her identity as a member of the royal family. After Sasha is punished for eating during training, she is forced to run laps all day. In the evening, as she is coming back to her bunk, Historia brings her some bread and water since Sasha misses dinner. She next demonstrates her kindness during the Cadet Corps snowstorm training. When she drags an unconscious Daz through the snow, determined to save him. Although Emer deduces that Historia is actually dragging Daz back to base only because she wants to die heroically. Historia is still doing anything she can to help another. 1. Armin desperately looks for the good in people. Perhaps the kindest character in the series, Armin Arlert always looks for the good in people. 
even after discovering that Annie is the female Titan. He wants so badly for it to not be true, practically begging her to prove them wrong. After she crystallizes herself and is held in prison, Armin visits her every day and talks to her. Knowing he'll get no response. Armin is traumatized when he is forced to kill another human to protect Jean, believing himself to be subhuman. Later, when he uses the Colossal Titan to attack Liberio. He is shown to be incredibly remorseful, clearly hating himself for hurting others. After Eren betrays the group and tells Mikasa that he has always hated her, Armin jumps to her defense and punches him in the face. Despite Eren easily overpowering him, Armin is willing to protect his friends.